Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prism Basketball. First off the line, pick your team number 10. First off the line, really generous with a lot of low numbered parallels and stuff like that. And if you bought at least two teams, you get an entry for a chance at the Hornets. And we're going to gather this entire list and make it part of uh, tonight's promo. For all that promo details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. So let's uh, let's gather up these names. So let's, first, let's sort by column A. If you bought at least two teams, you get an entry. AJ got two, that's an entry. Dayton got two, that's an entry. Houston got four, that's two entries. Isaac got two, that's an entry. Keith got two, that's an entry. Matthew Shearer got two, that's an entry. Miles got three, so two count, one is an entry. PJ with six, that's three entries. And Sean with six, that's three entries. And the gang in the chat before I started this video talking about where does Ben Simmons go? Oliver and uh, Ben with two ends is a uh, Kings fans. They're wondering would, would Ben Simmons the Kings work? Will's thinking maybe he'd do all right in a smaller market. Now let me just kind of Eyeball, spot check this really quick. AJ, Dayton, Houston, Isaac, Keith, Matthew, Miles, PJ, and Sean. All right, so this is for a shot. There's some new dice right there. Blank list. This is for a shot at the um, at the Hornets. Name on top after three, two, and a one. Three things <laughs> things that Ben Simmons can't shoot. He could work on it though. We're talking. Could he work on it? See if he does. One, two, and good luck. Third and final time. Name on top is Dayton. Congrats, Dayton. After three times, the Hornets going your way. Now let's see if this box cooperates. Let's sort by column B, and let's print this baby out, and let's see what's inside this box. So we'll see. Eric Jennings was saying maybe T Wolves are interested in Ben Simmons. Chris Lombardo, real question: If Simmons never develops a jump shot, does he fit in any championship lineup? I think that's what Bucks fans may be asking about Giannis. Although I have more confidence that Giannis will develop a credible uh, shot before uh, Ben does. But I mean, the talent with Ben Simmons is there. Here's the final printout right there. And so that's why it's so intriguing because if he can do that, then his skill set, Ben Simmons' skill set is such that it would be pretty awesome. All right, there it is. First off the line. Good luck. Oliver saying he fits anywhere if if he if he can just get forty from the field and seventy from the line. Right, that's what and that's what Chris what the guys were saying earlier. It's like, hey, at least Giannis, you know, there is there is sort of mental toughness that, that Giannis has and Simmons, you know, yeah, Giannis will still be some, maybe sometimes not aggressive enough. He can kind of hold back too a little bit, but for the most part, you're right. Giannis will still will still attack the basket, but Ben Simmons just kind of disappears, especially in the in the fourth quarter and was passing first, not being aggressive. Let's see what Ben's Ben Simmons stats were. What are we really talking about here? This is not play. This is regular season numbers, but he shot 55% from the field. 30% from three, but I don't know how many threes he was really attempting a game. Less than <laughs> less than half the three a game. Jeff Nance thinking to change his, that's why I mentioned earlier too, the change of scenery is probably a good idea for Ben Simmons. And Will was right. Will was like, it's gotta be hard 
trying to fix your shot in front of the Philadelphia crowd. <laughs> Yeah, and Chris is saying unless we see until we see Simmons make an improvement in shooting, you have a hard time believing the team that he's on can win a chip. I mean yeah, if he doesn't develop a shot, he's that he's fifth, sixth option, seventh option on a team. On a championship he'd have to be he can't be like a third option on a team. There's Jeremy Grant Red Wave and there's Cole Anthony. Could have some upside. Orlando Magic, Keith Kelly with the red Cole Anthony. 169 out of 299. Right, Markel Fultz is a good example. Could be difficult trying to develop in front of the Philadelphia crowd. I actually thought Markel Fultz was a good candidate for like comeback player of the year this year if it weren't for that injury that took him down. Nice James Weissman rookie. That's going to be for PJ. Last spot mojo. Right, the Chuck Knobloch of basketball. Yeah, the yips are a real thing. I mean... Yeah, it's a real thing. There's Robert Williams mojo, and behind him is Kobe White. For the Bulls, that's going to be for Sean O. In Chicago. There's Robert Williams. That's to 25. That's for PJ and the C's. Got Jeff Green, Red Wave, and Purple Ice, Dennis Rodman. 162 out of 175. The Worm, going to Sean O'Leary. Sean O in Chicago. Indeed, Chris. Yeah, Chris is saying, man, but Ben Simmons is so talented that regular season he can be an all-star. But yeah, in the playoffs, any deficiency you have, it's definitely going to get exposed, isn't it? Griffin... Killian Hayes, Langston Galloway, Tyler Bay. What's this guy going to do? Kawhi Leonard. Here's Kawhi Leonard card. Clippers out. Fought valiantly, but they're out. And now what? What are uh, what are those players going to do? I think Kawhi does have an opt out. Thirty three out of thirty five. Jonas Valanciunas, blue shimmer, for the Grizzlies. PJ with Memphis. LeBron James fireworks silver. I know some inserts that are silvers, especially for guys like LeBron, could go for a decent amount. I don't know about the fireworks insert, but could be. Matthew Shearer with my Lakers. Lakers have to do a lot of work in the offseason. There's been some Ben Simmons to the Lakers. I think some fans have kicked around that idea, but Lakers need shooting. Ben Simmons doesn't provide that. There's Terry Rozier revealing a Marvin Bagley. Now, Oliver was speculating, is it is it Marvin Bagley, Buddy Heald, and the number nine overall pick that gets Ben Simmons to the Kings? I don't know, but there's nine out of ten Marvin Bagley. Well, I feel like is great when those knees aren't betraying his body. Uh, that's for Isaac and the Kings. Ryan saying, your Mavericks. My Mavericks are in fa favor to get Kawhi if he opts out. Luka and Kawhi would be pretty good. Celtics will be, will be rebuilding as well. There's LeBron James. And there's Dante DiVincenzo, Blue Ice, and behind him is Sensational Signatures, Elijah Hughes, Rookie Auto for Houston and the Jazz. Heat, maybe, could get Kawhi, Ryan's thinking.
There's DiVincenzo for the Bucks. That's going to be for Miles. Wait, when's that game on? 55 out of 125. And where? TNT? TNT. You should be starting soonish. Yeah, there we go. Tip off. 10 minutes. See, if need a big rookie name. Here's Markel Fultz. We're just talking about him. Red Wave, Malcolm Brogdon, 009 out of 175. That's for AJ and the Pacers. Any Lamellos in here, maybe? Valanciunas Silver. There's Okongwu, Isaac Okoro, Kira Lewis Jr. Red Wave, and this is a John Collins Black parallel. That's a one of one. Ooh. Miles Evans with the Atlanta Hawks get the John Collins one of one, and no Trey Young tonight. So guys like Okongwu maybe, guys like Okongwu and John Collins will certainly be expected to step things up and make a name for themselves tonight. No Giannis either. I told you, first off the line, really generous with the low number of parallels. Miles, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! We got the Kira Lewis Jr. Red Wave rookie card going to the Pelicans for PJ. Nice, good coral. Some of those Cavs rookies. Some of those youngsters. Scarland, Sexton, a coral maybe. They could be. They could piece together a decent, decent team. Another season or two. Kongu played with the Ball brothers in high school. Aaron Naismith, Bruce Brown, and we got an Emmanuel quickly for the Knicks for Keith at the end. And there you go, 2021 Panini Prism Basketball. First off the line, pick your team 10 in the books. I think we've got a couple more that we can post, and we'll do that a little bit later tonight. And everyone here will also be part of that All Breaks Sold promo. The details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.